Hi, I'm Sarah Glidden, and I am doing Malin's monologue from Steel Magnolias and Leprechaun from Goodbye Charles. I realize as a woman how lucky I am. I was there when that beautiful creature drifted into my life, and I was there when she drifted out of it. It's the most precious moment of my life. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I could jog all the way to Texas and back, but my daughter can't. She never could. God, I'm so mad. I don't know what to do. I want to know why. I want to know why Shelby's life is over. I wonder how that baby will ever know how wonderful his mother was. Will he ever know what she went through for him? God, I want to know why. Lord, I wish I could understand. No. No, no, no. It's not supposed to happen like this. I'm supposed to go first. I've always been ready to go first. I don't think I can take this. I don't think I can take it. I want to hit something. I want to hit somebody until they feel as bad as I do. I want to hit something. I want to hit it hard. Honey, I'm a leprechaun. Look at the facts. There's a salary freeze and I got a raise. The market's down. My stock's up. That rainbow has been lingering on our backyard a week. People change. Not usually into leprechauns, but this can't come as a total surprise. You went on a Special K diet, and I went on Lucky Charms. You can't deny the leprechaun beard trying to spring from my cheeks. <laughs> it's 10 a.m., and I have 5 o'clock shadow. I've shaved six times today. Such aggressive hair growth is not natural for humans. And what about the sudden and medically puzzling height loss? I know the doctor called it drastic spinal compression, but <laughs> come on. Just say it. Say, honey, I accept that you are a leprechaun.